Hello everyone and welcome back. As you guys know, I'm down in Louisiana right now. I got here yesterday. I've just been doing just a few things. I, there was some brush up in the front where the high-low used to sit that I cleaned up. Uh, since Hurricane Ida went through, there was a piece of uh, soffit that was a little bit loose, so I had to put two little nails in there. I don't know if you can even see it, but there's a seam here in the sunroom ceiling that I'm unhappy with, so I went up this morning and got some taping mud, and I just cleaned it up a little bit and put a couple coats on and see if I can make it look a little better. When I got here yesterday, it was 83 degrees. Right now it's 74 degrees, it's supposed to get up into the 80s, but there is a high wind warning today. They even closed a bunch of the schools because they're going to have tropical storm winds, just not, uh, there's going to be a storm front coming through, but it's not a tropical storm. So anyway, it's supposed to get really windy this afternoon and then by seven or eight tonight, it'll calm down. I mean, winds sustained around 40 to 50 and gusting a little higher. So, I mean, we get that at the farmhouse all the time. I went up to Home Depot this morning and picked up a couple things and I did check and see if they had the butcher block countertop. For this island, and they do have two of them there, I'm not even going to order it, nothing. I'm just going to go up there. I didn't pick it up today because we have rain coming. I'll wait till this rain goes through and then I'm going to pick it up and just bring it here myself and haul it in and put it on there. I'm not going to go through the fiasco or I don't know. I have only bad words to say about it from last time I was down here. It's snowing right now up at the farmhouse and where Melissa at work anyway. It's snowing pretty hard. She took the King Ranch to work and kept it in four wheel drive the whole way. The roads were pretty bad. Not down here. This afternoon at four o'clock we've got one of the neighbors here his grandson or granddaughter, whichever one he has, and then wife or husband, are gonna come over and look at the house. They're interested in possibly buying it, I don't know, but they wanted to get a first look and I see no reason why they can't come through. Yesterday when I got here, I went across the street because yesterday was the smoked meat Tuesday and I bought, you know, I mean, I was way late for that, but then they'll put it in as like a plate lunch you can buy. So I bought a couple of them, and but right now I think I'm going to run up to, I don't know, I kind of want to go up and get some boiled shrimp maybe and crawfish, if they have any boiled. I think maybe I'll run up there and give it a shot. That wind is definitely picking up. It looks so bare without the hilo there, it looks nice. I'm going to run up to the duck roost here in Sorrento. Every time I've been there and Melissa's been there, we have been totally unhappy with it. Uh, the one at St. Amant, I've been there before and it's pretty good, but I just don't get it. One time when I'm down here, I'm going to go to Crawfish Express in St. Amant because they have the best boiled crawfish down here. Have the air conditioner on in my truck ever since I got here. Well, they did have stuff boiled up in there today. I got three pounds of shrimp, three pounds of crawfish, one order of boiled potatoes, which is four potatoes, and three pieces of corn. So at least they had it this time. Now I'm going to eat it and see if it's any good because we've had issues both ways. on the windshield now. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've had that happen. I guess we'll see how these are this time. The internet company is here replacing the internet line. And he had to go all the way down the road to the next telephone pole which is way down the road over there. 
I don't know what happened to it, but he did a test on it and it wasn't working. We're under a tornado watch here. There's a guy named Bob who lives west of here and the storms have already went through there. He texted me and they're on their way here. We'll see if he gets this done. It's starting to lightly sprinkle out there and when that line comes through I don't think he's going to want to be up on a ladder. Well, the people looked at the house, they really liked it. I don't know what'll happen, we'll have to wait and see what it appraises for and everything. And then the internet guy came back right after they left and finally got the internet hooked up here. So back to having super fast internet, I can finally stream something on the TV. I think I'll go back out under the carport and watch the storm come in. Starting to get lighter out there, so the storm must be almost all the way through. Good morning, everybody. Nice sunny day today. Started out at 50 degrees. It's supposed to get up into the low to mid 70, 73, 74, somewhere in there. Just ran up and bought the uh, butcher block countertop for the island on that back. I'm going to stop at the grocery store on my way back and get something to cook for dinner tonight. I have that cabinet tow board cut and painted now. I need to get all that put in and leveled in and everything before I add the weight of this butcher block top on there. But right now it's lunchtime, so I'm going to have some leftover boiled shrimp, corn and a potato, a piece of smoked boudin, a banana, a nice cold glass of milk.
working like this is when I don't have the video on, I have the radio going. <laughs> so I have to go shut the radio off and then turn on the camera or else you'll have a, some kind of a violation. So it always seems like in a, I'm in a totally quiet room when in reality it's not on loud but it's playing. They have some pretty good, they have a pretty good country station down here, Gumbo, and I'll have it on that. When you do this, this is just a food grade mineral oil, but it's it was sold for butcher blocks, but you can just use regular mineral oil, but you rub it in like this, and then you can see it's soaking in. I don't know if you can see it. And you just keep putting it on until it's not gonna soak in anymore, which will just take a couple of coats. And then you should actually put it on about once a month, for four to six weeks. I have a load of laundry in my washing machine and if you close the door you can't hear it, but that washing machine is annoying, <laughs> the sound. It doesn't have an agitator and I still don't like that. I think washing machines do a better job when they have an agitator. It's just agitating. <laughs> I think I'm going to do one more coat tonight. This will be the third coat. It's already 10 minutes after 7, and then I'm going to call it a night. I have two videos to edit, so I would like to get started on that and then just sit down for a while. And the lighting is getting worse in here now. i got to use the light from above, so you got to look for the shiny part of it. God, I have to cook tonight. <laughs> I have to 
fire up that grill. All they had for beef steaks of any sort at Rouse's Market was thin cut, which, I mean, that's fine. There's plenty of food on, you know, even a thin cut. I probably can't eat a whole one. But I was just surprised. I couldn't find any that were just the regular cut. I'm going to do these on the grill, and then I got a thing of catfish nuggets, which I love. Melissa doesn't like these at all, but I mean, $1.71? Come on. <laughs> They're cheap. So I'm going to cook them up on the grill too. I also got this other thing at the store that was cheap. And this was pork loin rib and BLD cut chops. So some of them are kind of have a weird cut to them, but this was only $6.56. It was $1.88 a pound, which was even cheaper than the pork steaks. So anyway, I picked these up. I'll probably cook these up maybe tomorrow. I'll have food for a few days. The only thing with the thin cut ones is you gotta be careful how much you season them because it's easy to get them over seasoned. Melissa likes to cook the thin cut pork chops. We usually cook those up like every single week. But if I'm gonna be up there a lot, she'll get a package of the thin cut, because then she can just grab a thin cut pork chop and a salad for lunch at work. And then she'll get a package of the regular cut pork chops and cook those up for me, fry them up, so. Works pretty good. Yeah, Melissa doesn't like these, because they tend to taste more like the dirt, which I, I like that taste compared to just like catfish fillets. She likes those, just not these nuggets. I like them because they taste like that and they're always cheap. They used to be super cheap and when I would, was working in North Dakota, I didn't have no money. That's why I was out there working so far from home and they would have these at Walmart for super cheap. So I would uh, buy these and eat them, cook them up and then also go uh, catfishing right on Lake Sakakawea because the campground that I stayed at that whole summer was right on the lake. So I would go out there after work a lot of the nights and you could usually catch a catfish or two. It was fun. Sarah came out there too and we'd go out there fishing. She stayed out there the one whole summer. Got her first job there, her first real job where you'd get a paycheck every week. And Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I want to end this one now because since it's warm down here, up at the farmhouse, once it gets dark, there's really nothing to do outside. You know, you have to stay in and I have time for editing. Down here, I have a lot of stuff to do and uh, not a whole lot of time for editing and I still want to get these up. I will see you guys on the next video.